About one hour after Hemet mother drops off her two young kids at this daycare center, she receives the horrifying news her daughter is in cardiac arrest. A short time later, the infant is pronounced dead. First at four, Inland Empire reporter Leticia Juarez spoke with the infant's mother. She's live outside Hemet police quarters with that. Leticia? Well, it was just heartbreaking to talk to that devastated mother, Kristen Watkins, telling us she doesn't understand why her seven-month-old baby girl is gone. She tells us that she had just undergone a six-month checkup and received a clean bill of health. Now, the Hemet Police Department is investigating the death, and the family is hoping that investigators here will provide them with some answers. <laughs> Little Addison Watkins' precious giggles and smiles captured on home video are now bittersweet memories. On Monday morning, the seven-month-old died shortly after she was dropped off at daycare. I just want to know what happened to my baby. I just, I just want answers. Kristen Watkins says she took her daughter and three-year-old son to this Hemet home daycare around 7 a.m. An hour later, she got a call telling her Addison wasn't breathing and in cardiac arrest. At the hospital, she learned her daughter was gone. Guys, Addie, wake up. Addison, wake up for mommy. <laughs> and then I fell to the ground. The California Department of Social Services says the home daycare, which goes by the name Warman Family Daycare, was not licensed. The child care agency is now investigating. Eyewitness News reached out to the daycare provider, but no one at the home wanted to speak with us. You in your tongue. Put it back in your mouth. For Watkins, these moments of Addison's short life bring not only grief, but guilt. Watkins says she trusted the home daycare who had been caring for her son since he was six months old. But she now wishes she had done more. I should have done my background check, and I didn't. I failed to do so, and now my daughter's not here. She was so beautiful. She was so beautiful. Now, the California Department of Social Services, which licenses home daycares, and the Hemet Police Department are both investigating. Uh, the state agency tells us that the daycare is no longer in operation. Now, a family friend has set up a GoFundMe page for the Watkins family, not only to help them with funeral expenses, but also Watkins, who has exhausted all her medical leave after, after exhausting her maternity leave.